Hi. So we're on example two. This time we uh, have water at a known temperature and a known specific volume. We're trying to find out what phase it's in and also what the pressure is. Okay. So first thing we should do probably is check whether this problem is actually soluble. Uh, we have two pieces of information here, the temperature and the specific volume, two thermodynamic properties. They are normally independent of each other so with two independent properties we should be able to find any other property that we need so we should have enough information to solve this. Now let's uh, draw a TV diagram which we can uh, fill in as we go along. Uh, I'll draw in the saturation dome on that and let's fill in the bits of information that we have. Uh, so we've got um, a known temperature 120 Celsius uh, we have a known specific volume but we can't really say where that is on the on the diagram just yet um, so we need to find out first of all which phase we're in are we compressed liquid are we in the saturation region or are we uh, superheated vapor uh, so we go to the table to do this and always at this stage when you don't know which phase you're in uh, you can go to the saturated water table to find out which phase you're in that will always tell you so um, we go to the saturated water table in this case we know the temperature so we're going to use the saturated water temperature table uh, we go down to the temperature that we know 120 Celsius um, the information that we have uh, the other information that we have is the, s the specific volume so we need to check out the specific volume at this temperature on the table so the saturated liquid specific volume is this thing here uh, a word about uh, about this um, what's listed in the table here is not the sp not the specific volume but the specific volume times 10 to the 3 in other words uh, if this reads 1.0603 the actual specific volume is 0 0.00010603 so let's note that value on our uh, diagram Point zero zero one zero six zero three meters cubed per kilogram and at the other end at the saturated oops, at the saturated at the saturated vapor end we have a value of 0.8919 meters cubed per kilogram okay so our actual known specific volume is 0.0082 so that falls that actually falls between these two values so therefore our um, it's somewhere about here our actual specific volume so our actual state is there is at the intersection of that known specific volume with the known temperature and it's right there and that tells us graphically that it's inside the saturation dome we are dealing with saturated water here uh, we don't need to draw the diagram and think about it graphically but it helps to do that uh, but we can write down the logic of that uh, mathematically we can say that the specific volume of saturated liquid at 120 Celsius and this subscript F usually means saturated liquid is less than our actual specific volume V and that in turn is less than the specific volume of saturated vapor at that same temperature and from that we conclude that we are dealing with uh, saturated water and that is the first uh, of the th three um, answers that we were looking for okay now we're asked to find the pressure that the water is at uh, well that's now quite easy because of the fact that it's saturated um, so the pressure that it's at is remember our state is identified by this dot here it's a, it's a point on this TV diagram pressure that we're at since we're saturated the pressure that we're at is the saturation pressure quite simply or it's
that's that special value of pressure at which water boils at 120 degrees C. It's the saturation pressure corresponding to 120 degrees C. So, we, uh, and this is a this curve is a constant pressure curve uh, for that pressure. Uh, so we can find out what that is on the table. Now we know we've got uh, saturated water, so we're sticking with the saturated water table, 120 Celsius. The uh, saturation pressure is 1.985 bar. Let's stick with um, SI units, that's 198.5 kilopascals. So the pressure, therefore, uh, well, that's it. We can just write that down. pressure is equal to P sat at 120 Celsius which is 198.5 kilopascals okay so we've got two out of our three answers now the internal energy is going to require a little bit more work um, we know where we are on the temperature volume diagram in order to connect that to internal energy, what we can do is find out the internal energy at the saturated liquid state for that temperature and at the saturated vapor state at that temperature again. Um, and our saturated water is a mixture of course of saturated liquid and saturated vapour and we quantify that mixture by calculating the quality. The quality, the so-called quality um, X is the um, mass of water that is in the vapour state as a fraction of the total mass so 100% quality means we have 100% vapour, we have saturated vapour in fact uh, zero quality means we have uh, zero vapor, or so we've got saturated liquid. So we can calculate that uh, quality um, from an equation like this. Since we know our specific volume, we'll use specific volume uh, V minus Vf divided by Vg minus Vf. So let's reality check this. Uh, if V is equal to Vf, we have saturated liquid, uh, then the top of the fraction goes to zero, so the quality is zero. That's what we expect. If V equals Vg, in other words, if we have saturated vapour, this whole fraction goes to 1, so the quality is 1 or 100%. Okay? So for our particular uh, numbers, um, we have got 0 0.0082 minus 0 0.0010603 divided by 0.8919 minus point that. So let's calculate that. here. Oops. 0 0.008015. Okay, and that's uh, dimensionless, of course. It has no units. Right, so we've got, this is the fraction of the mixture which is in the vapour uh, phase. So our specific internal energy, that's the internal er energy of the mixture, is the quality times the internal energy of saturated vapour plus the fraction in the liquid phase times the internal energy of the saturated liquid phase. Uh, we can pop some numbers into that. Um, oh, oh, 
0.0015 times 120 Celsius saturated vapor internal energy is 2529.3. So 1 minus 0 0.008015 times comes out at uh, 519.74. The units, well, uh, our inputs to this calculation were in uh, kilojoules per kilogram. The table tells us so. So our result is also kilojoules per kilogram. Let's reality check that result. Uh, our mixture has only a very small percentage of vapour. It's only uh, a fraction of 0 0.008 is in the vapour phase. So our result should be much closer to saturated liquid than to saturated vapour. And it is. It's 519 versus 503 versus 2529. So that calculation looks reasonably okay. Um, and that's our result.